attempting to learn one of the most difficult violin techniques in just one week. The infamously, legendarily difficult upbow staccato. Upper staccato in the violin world is one of those things where some people just seem to have it. And other people, no matter how much they try, they can't do it. It's a very virtuosic technique. It's pretty much just a way of saying, I'm flexing. It's the violent equivalent of Jake Paul trying to have a Lamborghini. We don't have a Lamborghini, we just have upper staccato. I figured, why not challenge myself and see if I can finally learn this cursed violin technique. I'm going to be tackling this one bit in Sanson's introduction and Roderick Capriccioso. That was me failing at the upper staccato right there. It sounds like someone having a seizure on the violin. Let's start by watching some recording, shall we? Okay. Day one, let's go. Right now, I'm actually starting slow. I'm just trying to make sure my wrist is really relaxed. I'm really trying to get this whole arm weight naturally kind of like this. Relaxed. The key is each note has to ring really brightly. It can't sound crushed or like scrunchy, you know? It can't sound like... Ah. Oh. Noticing myself tensing already. It's so tempting to just do it by tensing the arm. I just look at my reflection in the window. Not bad. Oh, Woo. my arm is dead. And I still feel I'm compensating with tension, which is not good. I think that's about it for today on staccato, but let's try tempo 80 to see how far off we are. Day 2. Let's ask ChatGPT how to do upper staccato. Begin by holding the violin properly, scroll pointing upward. When on tour with our Q&A sessions, a lot of people have asked, how do you balance practicing with all the other things that we do? You really have to find ways to become more and more effective in your practice. It's cool to do challenges like this where I only have a really short amount of time to learn something because it really forces yourself to think about how to do it rather than just kind of mindlessly practicing. I'm starting to get that kind of virtuosicness, but still far from feeling controlled and comfortable. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Day three. My strategy for today is slow practice. One extra thing I'm gonna do is doing different rhythms, dotted rhythms. It's a really good way to solidify your rhythmic control because I was listening yesterday and my rhythm was a bit uneven. It's also good in the sense that it just breaks down a lot of notes into little chunks. So hard. Oh, guys, do you believe in me? Do you think I can do it? 69, let's go. Resist the urge to go faster. Don't play quickly just because you can. You can practice quickly, you can practice slowly. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, day four. We are officially past the halfway mark. Okay, the staccato still, I'm not happy with the tone. I think it can be better. So I'm really going to be cleaning up 
the tone of each uh, staccato today. So. Holy moly, that was so good. What tempo was that? It was about 65. It's a bit slow, but it was really good. to it the staccato stuff is not too bad it's actually the other stuff that he practiced now the arpeggios so i'm gonna you know, just keep chipping away at it i'm stressed <laughs> guys oh my god i realized something tragic i messed up i've been practicing the wrong thing <laughs> I'm quite lazy with using sheet music because I have a pretty good memory, usually. And so I thought I remembered what I practiced back in the day when I was 13. I just checked the music just then just to be sure. And it's down an octave. I've been practicing up the octave for no reason. So I'm like super confused now. I'm like checking IMSLP and different like YouTube recordings, but I'm freaking out. Okay, 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 never mind. Whew. I just checked and the other violin part has up the octave. So it must be like a different addition thing. So I notice Ray goes down, back down the octave. Oh, palm sweaty. Ooh. It's all right, it's all right. False alarm, false alarm. There's just different addition. So we're gonna keep going with what I have remembered and practiced. By the way, disclaimer guys, this video might make it look like I know how to practice. I'm in no way saying this is the ideal way to practice this is just how i practice okay so you can decide after this video whether the results were worth it <laughs> ah, i can't play in time two days ah! boo all right it's day seven jokes it's day six i can't count <laughs> i still have one more day you might be wondering why i'm wearing king boo it's my favorite character in mario kart and sometimes when i'm using king boo i make the best comebacks i don't have much time left this is the final lap gotta put the pedal to the metal so i'm being inspired by king boo let's go it's okay i got this i got this i got this left hand is so tense Bro, that was so lit, my butt cheeks was like clenching. I was like, oh my god, I gotta relax my butt. Damn. But uh, I need to get the arpeggios though. Why is it so hard? Maybe I should change the fingering. Nah, second position, not a good idea. Why don't I just do a freaking first position? Yeah! Last minute fingering change. If I can do this, I can play anything in the world. Come on, Ling Ling. Power Ling Ling. Spirit of Ling Ling. Oh, oh. It is the final day, day seven. So I'm gonna do some practice, warm up. I'm not gonna show you how I'm sounding yet. I'm just gonna do a little bit of slow practice and then I'm gonna invite Brett over and uh, play for him. I'm gonna flex my staccato. <laughs> It's so cold, my hands are freezing. <sighs> Brad just messaged me and said he's coming over, so I think it's time. Please come in. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Yes, that's right. You don't know what's happening, but please. 
put on this mic. Okay. And enjoy yourself. <laughs> Place the cardo. Oh! <laughs> she was not impressed. I thought I have failed my seven-day journey. I thought it was like I thought it was like a prank. I was waiting for someone to like jump out of the door or something. No, nah, what? Well, okay, you know how like I've never been able to place the cardo yeah. ever as a kid. Yeah. Oh, oh, and you've yeah. been able to place the cardo. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play this piece I can never play. I was like, I'm gonna learn it in one week. Oh, you did that in one week? Yeah, that was just one week. That's that's actually pretty legit. Yeah. Like, it's not easy. I used to just fake it. That bit. That's true. I'd be like... Okay, it's not legit until you do it again. You gotta do it again. Oh. Now, now I know what's going oh. on. <laughs> uh, second chance. <laughs> Do your 15 year old self be like, I did it! Yeah, I finally played the bit I could never play. Wow, well, what do you think? It's be good. Back as a staccato expert. It's good. I think it can be more like fiery though. Fiery. I mean, it's really, really good. I'm just thinking like, if you want to make it even better, like, yeah. if you're like, fiery, like more articulate. Like. Yeah, it's like the upper staccato becomes like flying up both oh, I can't. You know, da da da, and then it goes. <sighs> then it sounds like you're doing separate bows, but it's up bow. Okay. Deserve a bubble tea. Oh, oh yeah, that sounds yes. pretty good. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to practice. World Tour is coming up soon. Sign up below. USA, keep an eye out. Bye bye. bye, -bye.